What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Scorched Earth Gaming. We're doing another run through uh, Rogue Legacy in the castle. Uh, I farmed a bit to get strong enough to try deal with the boss, and I'm wearing a full set of night gear now, so hopefully we're strong enough. Now I didn't do well in this room because these rooms suck with all the enemies in these impenetrable fortresses and spikes on the floor. So this thing heals a lot of health and MP. Which is useful, it is, as you saw there, it was, it was about 105, but they're super rare, so you don't come across them a whole lot. This is me just going back to show you guys again. Now, we found the boss door, so I'm gonna go in. Uh, I'm not gonna say much during this fight, so here we go. There we go. Finally, we've defeated a boss in this playthrough. But as you can see, he dropped a lot of money. And a huge ass chest. Now, in this huge ass chest, we get something that boosts our HP, MP, and armor, which is really useful. Now, this is the door at the start as soon as we come in. And you saw there that the uh, circle uh, started to light up, which means we've defeated the boss of the castle. He won't be back again unless we find uh, Kadir's Oval. Which will make like Super Kadir, which we'd have to fight there. The Super bosses are ridiculous to fight. They have loads of health and special arenas, and you're fighting them as a special character, so it doesn't matter what here you go in with and what uh, level ups you have right, when you're fighting them. And now we're gonna try a bit of the forest. Now that big Earth Spike was from that guy, the Earth Sore, or whatever he's called. Those guys are not friendly. Uh, those spikes can pop up anywhere. Just you just need to keep an eye on the ground for those um glyphs, I suppose. And the wolves in the forest also suck because they're very fast and they'll drop down from any platform, like you just tried to there. Now I'm not sure if I've, if I've told you guys about this one, but I got a retaliation rune, so. A lot of the, when you see enemies getting hurt when they hit me, as because of that ruin, like there, the uh, plant guy got hurt. Those plant guys are a new enemy for the um, forest as well, just like those slime guys. And uh, a lot of the enemies that we fought in the castle will be here still, just improved. Like the skeletons are now Mr. Bones, they've got more health and all. Another one of these pray for assistance shrines. Hyperion's Ring is a really useful item. It gives you an ability called Death Defy that you can use once. Which means when you reach zero health, you won't die. You'll come back with a, a portion of your health. But it only works once with, with Hyperion's Ring and then disappears. You can get a upgrade in the castle, which gives you a percentage chance to do that as well. We're getting all the bosses in this uh, run though. This is a mini boss, uh, Stolas and Focalore, and uh, they are not friendly. I think these are actually my least favorite of the mini bosses, next to the giant painting, which I'll try show, show you guys at some point if you find them. Now that's the death defy that the uh, Hyperion's ring does. So I, I came back there with a portion of my health. And I got a little bit safer and started just spamming them with drawing knives. 
Because they're gonna kill me again. Okay, so that's a mini boss and a boss defeated, so our HP has been increased by 10 in this run. Which is pretty cool. Now these rooms are not fun with the there's a lot of enemies that can fly in these rooms usually and the spikes are all over the place. I really don't know why I thought I was small enough to go under those spikes. So that's the end of that. But we managed to take out Kadir, which is a pretty big thing, and a mini bus. So we did pretty well there. And we got into the forest. Now there is a secret upgrade in the castle and to get it you go up to this one and push up. That's how you unlock the secret class. Uh, it took me a while to find that out but uh, it's also expensive. And that's the death defy ability that gives you a chance to, uh, a percentage chance to come back from death. That's the retaliation room I was talking about. Now that ruin down in the bottom is a balance ruin. They're they're my favorite ruins. They give you HP and MP back when you kill an enemy, and they stack. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. TTFN.